tonight's number is 17 trillion. Yes, indeed, America, it is true. Making cities greener could save a lot, a lot of moolah, baby. Yes, indeed, a report published Tuesday from, by the New Climate Economy found that if cities around the world implemented certain climate reduction strategies, including making buildings more efficient, investing in public transportation, they could save a combined total of $17 trillion by 5050. The report looked at action, such as aggressively deploying high efficiency lighting, installing solar, solar panels on buildings, increasing the fraction of methane captured from landfills, and expanding public transit. It found that if all of these measures were implemented, cities would reduce their combined greenhouse emissions by 3.7 metrics Gigaton, metric gigatons, gigatons rather, excuse me, of carbon monoxide equivalent um, by 3030. Now this is all, this is a cool thing because I think a lot of cities are really seeing the impact of climate change on a daily basis. You don't think about it, but it's true, right? You think about all the cities that have to keep the lights on, right? Because City Hall, the lights are always on. And if those lights aren't like necessarily like, you know, efficient lights or, you know, energy efficient lights, cost of money. Same thing goes for trash, right? If you're not using trash that's biodegradable, reusable things, more money, more stuff going to the landfill. The fact that more motorists are taking, you know, are going on the roads and driving their cars, not only does that erode, you know, asphalt, but it also adds to travel time, it adds to accidents, it adds to road maintenance. And it costs a lot of money. Like, this is real tangible things. I mean, I live in the nation's capital, and I'm telling you, me not drive, and beyond just the benefit the city makes, the personal benefit to your life. So every morning, people who don't know this, I ride my bike. I'm going to take a picture of me riding my bike. I run back to work, to my office, right? Riding my bike to my office actually saves me travel time. You think I'm driving a car would be quicker. Actually, it's not true. When you factor in parking, right and you know you know finding a parking paying for parking it's actually cheaper and more effective for me to ride my bike to work i get to work in about 10 minutes when i rode when i drove my car taking about 20 minutes to get to the same job same distance so there's benefits america um for cities to really think about finding ways to cut waste and cut carbon emissions and if 17 trillion dollars is nothing to sneeze at that could literally close the u.s deficit twice almost <laughs>